Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Uh, let's go as usual to start uh, analyzing the Euro USD. And the very first thing we can notice is that the pair has broken out from this long term support, which has been pending for over a month. And we can notice that this bearish breakout candle is really strong and it's unusual. And to be honest, there is a reason for this uh, strong breakout candle. And allow me to show it to you. One second. That is the reason for that breakout happened. Mr. Trump has again made this tweet out of the sky, out of nowhere. He just decided to make this tweet. I honestly don't understand the purpose of it, but whatever. He said the euro is dropping against the dollar like crazy, giving them a big export and manufacturing advantage, and the Fed does nothing. Our dollar is now the strongest in history. Sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, no, Mr. Trump, it doesn't. Uh, I believe this was the reason for the euro to be dropped like that. And actually, nobody can blame us for what happened here. The pair just continued to fall more down. So what I'm thinking, if we go to the weekly chart and we just zoom in, we can notice that this breakout is massive because it's, it's breaking a really long term support. The pair has never reached this level in three years in almost three years since April 2017. So again, this breakout is going to be massive. And remember where we, we are analyzing on the weekly chart. Therefore, I believe the pair will continue falling until uh, let's be more accurate to be more safe. It should be until this level, honestly. So we are talking about almost 82 more pips. It's going to fall more down to reach this support right here because we can see on the left that we had here a strong support level, which has been pending since 2016 and here as well. And the, the very same support level has later turned out to be a strong resistance. And again, after the bullish breakout, we can see the, the support again, keeping its position. Therefore, therefore, I believe this level is going to keep its position as a support and the candle is gonna fall down but however that's not gonna happen immediately let's check the four hour chart so on the four hour chart on the euro usd we can see that the last four hours on friday night the market closed as a, as a green pin bar now this indicates that the market actually might start going up but not for a long time it's gonna retest this level and i believe the retest is gonna fail and the market will continue to fall more down so i think it's going to be a really good opportunity to start selling the euro usd right from this level here let me just be more accurate uh, exactly like that so you can start selling the euro usd at the level 1.10322 and you can keep your trade if you want to be really safe you can keep your trade only until the current position which is the right price or the current price right here. So we are talking about almost 40 pips from the selling the Euro USD because we need to wait the price action. The Euro USD is uh, somehow unpredictable when Mr. Trump making these tweets and the pair is based, moving based on them. So what I'm expecting again, we can notice that the pair will go a little bit more up and the, the test will fail and the market will fall down and our best chances to be safe is to exit our trade right on this level where the, the, the current price right now. So again, like that. So Euro USD, good for sale at 1.10322 uh, 1 and we can exit our trade at 1.09893. However, we need to check at the left if there was a strong resistance on the very same level. Let me just check it out. Actually, we can notice it's it's here. We can see that there is a resistance and also here We can see that this level was good as a resistance. That means this pair actually hold on one second uh, Let me just check one thing hold on I just need to get rid of the extra line um, One zero two three zero two okay good 
Yeah, exactly. So this uh, level was also good as a resistance, as I said, it is the same line. So yeah, indeed, EURUSD should be good for sale at this level and keep the position until I uh, until the level what I told you. Let's check now the pound USD. The pound USD is still keeping its uh, bullish momentum and I believe it's going to continue going more up and ma it might not be going immediately. Uh, the pound USD is going to fall a little bit more down to this support level before it actually start to continue going more up. Uh, I'm certainly sure that this level must be retested if the uh, pound USD will be moving based on our technical analysis hoping that there will be no, no unexpected news or something will gonna happen any announcement from Mr. Johnson or something like that uh, if the pair uh, respected the levels that's how it's gonna move again I'm telling you it's gonna bounce on this support and then continue to go more up so our best chances we can start buying the pound USD let me just uh, tell you where exactly like that we can start buying the pound USD on the level 1.21071 and we can keep our trade running hopefully if the pair will continue falling uh, sorry if, if the pair will continue to rise up we can exit our trade at the level 1.23812 however that's a lot of pips I believe yeah 270 pips so if you want to be really safe you can exit your trade just right here if the pair will reverse at this support keep your position of buy until this support uh, sorry until this resistance level on 1.21991 that should be a good almost um, 90 pips of profit that should be fine the pair actually might reverse and go a little bit more down to this support don't be panic the pair might go a little bit down until the support but in the end I believe um, the general direction of the pound should continue to go more up especially that on the uh, daily chart and the weekly chart we can see it right now on the support level and it doesn't seem to be breaking out from this level let's check now the AUD USD AUD USD on the 4 hour chart is not uh, clear right now let's check the daily chart and check again weekly just to be sure uh, it, it does actually seem like it's gonna continue to go more up however we since we are on the support level and I'm expecting that the AUD USD might actually go a little bit down on this support again to make a fourth attempt of the support level before it actually continue to go more up now what is the reason I'm thinking that the reason is we are having here a resistance and here we have a, pre a previous support and we are having here another resistance so most likely the pair is not gonna really break out from this resistance level immediately um, it's actually might reverse a little bit on this support on the level 0 0.67176 which is gonna be your good option to start buying the AUD USD and we can keep our position until this resistance level on 0 0.68175 I'm expecting that the uh, AUDUSD should continue going more up for almost 100 pips uh, before it actually make another move. So yeah, again, uh, AUDUSD, good to start buying on 0 0.67176 and keep the position until 0 0.68013. Let's check now the USD CAD. USD CAD. Um, we can see that right now on the daily chart it's ranging on this support level or actually the support zone right here so let's uh, check out what happened we have here this resistance uh, on the same zone also here then the same zone has become a support zone here and here also and here it was a resistance then later it was really strong support zone and here as well so the pair doesn't seem to be breaking down breaking out from this level uh, and not going down actually I think it's gonna continue to go more up at this point uh, it might be a little bit risky because the problem with the USD CAD is it's so ranging mode right now we can see there are so many ups and downs on this market so many can mix of red and blue candles and that is actually quite dangerous you cannot really tell much when the market is in consolidation mode like that 
So there is really, really nothing clear here. But since we are buying the pair, it's it's much it's much safe actually to buy the pair only on a support level. So the general direction for the USD CAD is going to continue to go more up. However, be careful to not place your buy level your buy option immediately. Wait for the pair to reach the level of 1.32749 before you you can actually start buying the USD CAD. And again, I really don't advise it at all to be uh, trading the USD CAD this week because again of the so many ranging candles we are having right now. And believe me, you don't want to stuck in ranging market. It's going to be risky and we are not really sure what's going to happen to the USD CAD. However, if I must make analysis of it, it's uh, better to buy the USD CAD on 1.32749. And again, since it's a ranging market and we want to be safe, let's exit our trade at the level 1.33320 with almost 52 pips only hopefully the market will be respecting this level and continue to go more up because in general uh, let's check the weekly chart for the usd cad it is now on a support level and we can see these uh, many blue candles for almost a month meaning the bearish the bullish momentum momentum here is stronger and again we can see the support level here and the support here and here as well so this level is stronger support and we can see here the bouncing happened uh, two times on the bottom here so yeah usd cad actually should be continue to go more up it's all question about when should we buy it that's why i really don't advise to buy it at all at the moment but if you must that is your safe uh, option where i told you let's check now the usd gpy okay let's check the usd gpy on daily chart as I told you before the USD GPY has reached the very bottom of the support level and again it made the bounce and seems like it's continuing to go more up and the bullish momentum here is really strong what we can notice on the daily chart is right now we are on a support level and the candles seems to be respecting this level and I believe yes it's going to continue to go more up Actually, buying USD GPY at the current level is good idea because here we can see that we are on the same support level. Uh, we have here the support and we have here the support and the market is keeping the position here as a support as well, which was a resistance right here. And we have this bullish breakout candle. So again, yes, this is actually should be good level to start buying the USD GPY and we can keep the position all the way let me just be sure until when until this previous support here and that should be a good almost 100 pips of profit however uh, looking at the weekly chart it seems good also daily chart also uh, there is a chance there is a chance that the market might actually fall down until the level 105.833 and yes i am expecting to be honest with you we cannot tell until we can see the markets uh, opening on monday right now it seems to be good at, for the buy but however we need to wait to see the price action on monday opening uh, candle to know what will gonna happen the market maybe will be opening down here we cannot be sure it might be opening at this level there will be a gap so most likely i think the market will go will gonna open below this level uh, allow me to explain the reason I believe in my trend line strategy all right and if I want to apply my trend line strategy like that so this is the first trend line and if I want to drag it all the way like that now it's really obvious that we can see the USD GPY might actually go a little bit more down so this resistance trend line resistance trend line is gonna be the new support trend line at this point of the support here since we have here a support number one and I'm expecting the market to go down creating support number two and also to become the new support trend line and then it's gonna continue to go more up so let me just uh, take back my word uh, wait for the USD GPY to fall down until the level 105.833 and then 
it's it's going to be more safe to place the buy order exactly on this level and again keep your position of the buy order until the candles hit the resistance level on 107.200 let's now check the USCCHF all right USCCHF seems to be approaching a really strong resistance uh, level here and the candle which has closed the uh, last four hours on Friday seems to be reversing and going down so USDCHF seems to be a uh, good for sell actually immediately at uh, this resistance level right here we can see it uh, very clearly and we can expect the pair to continue falling let me tell you exactly where uh, let me just draw the line uh, until exactly right here yeah seems to be good level to start uh, buying the USDCHF at this point when it reached this level but however for the meantime USDCHF seems to be good for sell and we can keep the position for almost 56 pips until it hit this previous support right here now it's gonna be better idea this is the one hour chart it's gonna be better idea if you wait for the candles to go a little bit more up for almost uh, 19 pips like that and then you can start selling the USDCHF and hoping, uh, hopefully, sorry, it's going to fall down for almost uh, 70 pips. And yeah, I think the USDCHF really good for sale at the moment. Even now on the daily chart, we can see the very obvious resistance level here, which was a support in the past and a resistance. This level is really strong as a support and resistance in the past. So we can rely on it to start selling the USDCHF. Now let's check the gold, shall we? Uh, where is gold? Gold is here. Gold has reversed almost, or exactly, as I told you, uh, it might uh, have went a little bit more up, but in general, the reversal happened exactly at the level I have mentioned. So let's check now the monthly chart. Exactly what I told you before in the past. If you check my videos, look at that. I said exactly the pair is gonna reverse right here and we can see the candle uh, kissed the level and then reversed however uh, I'm thinking now uh, with the new month opening and the new candle will start uh, the gold um, seems to be continue to go more up to create another attempt of this of this resistance before it actually start to go more down so however uh, what should we do with the gold don't do anything at the moment wait for the gold to go a little bit more up hitting the same resistance level right here let me just be more accurate like that if you see the gold going up to this, uh, to this level of 1544 you can start selling the gold and again don't keep it for a long time just keep it until the current price which is 1520 and that should be a good 255 pips of profit uh, don't keep your trade for a long time on the gold it's really risky because gold like other commodities moving based on uh, news and events and announcements and such things is sensitive pair so you really don't want to stay trading that for a long time we just need to wait for the pair to go a little bit little bit more up before start selling it but for for the meantime please be careful don't do anything with the gold so guys, again, uh, that was my analysis for this week. Hopefully it will be a good and profitable week for everyone. So I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.